How long do you think it took to 3D print this? Or how about this? And what about this? But wait, there's more. How about this? But wait, there's one more. How long do you think it took to 3D print this? The answer to these questions might surprise you. This is a slicing program. It prepares a 3D model for 3D printing. Let's say we're brand new to the world of 3D printing and we want to 3D print something really big. When we scale the model up and hit slice, the print time shocks us. The program is telling us that if we want to 3D print this object, it's going to take more than 3 days and 22 hours to 3D print. Not only is the print time way too long, it'll also cost more than $13 to 3D print. The first thing you could do is you could increase the layer height. Just by changing the layer height to 0.28, the print time is now just over one day. With this simple change, we've reduced the print time by just about 60%. But with a larger layer height, you will see the layer lines more clearly. Did you know that a 3D printer could actually print a lot faster than you think? And you don't need any upgrades. My stock Creality Ender 3s have no problem printing up to 120 millimeters per second. With this change, the 3D print will only take one day and two hours to 3D print. This is a 72% reduction. By using a bigger nozzle, you can get much quicker 3D print times. With a bigger nozzle, you could also increase the layer height. Now with these changes, we've reduced the print time by 81%. But there's still one more thing we could do. When something is 3D printed, it's not 3D printed completely solid. Inside, there's a thing called infill. And this is usually some sort of strong geometric shape. If you're prototyping or 3D printing something that doesn't need to be incredibly strong, you could get away with using what's called lightning infill. This creates an infill pattern that looks very similar to tree branches. It uses variable density. With this change, we've now decreased the print time by 85%. The cost has been reduced from over $13 to now under $9. We are literally saving 80 hours of print time. But there's still one more thing you could do to 3D print two, three, four, five times faster. You could do this by buying more 3D printers. But 3D printers are expensive, a lot of people say. But I have some great news. My good friends and the sponsor of this video, Micro Center, have a really great deal where you can get a Creality Ender 3 Pro for just $99. This deal is for in-person shopping at the physical store and it's for new customers only. Micro Center is probably one of the best computer 3D printing and electronic stores out there. You could buy tons of 3D printer filament, you could build your own PC, they have a bunch of Raspberry Pis and Raspberry Pi accessories. It's really just a fun store to go to. I went there this weekend and I stocked up on a ton of filament. Even though this shelf looks like a store shelf, it's actually my personal shelves. Thank you to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Using all of these tricks and five 3D printers printing continuously, I was able to 3D print this giant Benchy in just about one day. I hope this video helps you print significantly faster, and if you liked this video, please consider supporting 3D Printer Academy on Patreon, where you get access to premium STL files. If you ever have any questions about 3D printing or designing things for 3D printing, please reach out and I'll be happy to help. My name is Steven, thanks for watching, and happy printing.